Pain is your friend, and that's what I would really think about it. And it will, and when you learn, you will learn for yourself how to keep yourself out of pain, and you will not have to be um, tethered to an expert forever. You become your own expert. Hi, my name is Julie. I'm from Indiana, and I came to Upright Health for the parachute program. I came here because my body got out of balance, and Upright Health has really helped me find the balance I needed in my body to be pain-free. So I started having some hip pain um, a couple years ago from, and I noticed it mostly from sitting to standing, and I would take two steps and feel a little bit locked up, and then um, it would go away. And I am active, so I did more yoga and maybe some Pilates and different things that I thought would work. I thought I needed some stretching, and I did all the things, and it persisted. This started, as I recall, when I was in graduate school, and I did have to sit for long periods of time, and I would sit longer than I probably should have. So one of the things I know about myself is I have lordosis, so I kind of have a sway back, and um, that is something I, I try to correct, but it's a long-term habitual thing for me, and so I don't have great awareness around it. And then it got further um, where I felt sort of a catch. I started feeling a catch, and then I started thinking, um, maybe I'm going to need a hip replacement or something, and that was worrisome to me. So I wanted to find out if I had some serious issues with my hips, so I went in and had a hip x-ray with an orthopedic surgeon. And my x-ray came back, and it was perfect. The orthopedic surgeon said, um, your hips look great, which was a relief to me as far as structurally, but he was going to recommend an MRI because his best guess was I had a frayed labrum and his suggestion was he could go in there and clean it up with surgery and just cut the frayed pieces of the labrum out and then that would probably solve my problem. And um, I said, I don't wanna do that. So I was, you know, at one point working with this um, PT that I had found and you know, these, my, my injuries are overuse and I'm aware of that. And he started working with me and I was doing the exercise and doing my homework and he said to me at one point, he said, you should be better by now. I'm not better. And he was a little bit, you know, irritated that I was not better. And I just didn't really even understand that level of care because it's like he was blaming me for not being better. And I was doing my homework and I wanted to be better. And it was as if he was saying that I was, you know, only coming there to waste his time or something. And I was very unhappy about that kind of collaboration with him. It's like I wasn't collaborating or something. I didn't quite understand what was going on. I wasn't what they wanted though. I wasn't the quite right kind of patient somehow. And I did schedule the MRI and I went home and Googled um, hips and labrum tears. And where I landed was Upright Health. There was tons of information and a gentleman named Matt who was on the video went into great deep explanations on lots of short videos on hips and why MRIs aren't really valuable for diagnosing things like labrum tears and just tons of research-based evidence on how the mechanism of the hip works and why surgery isn't your first choice or even for me my last choice. So um, I got intrigued and he had a program. Too bad this guy was in California. I was sitting in Indiana and he said I have a parachute program. And I'd spent a lot of time in California getting my master's and I thought I could go out there. They wanted to see me. They wanted to see my body in person. I got that. They wanted to see how agile I was or tight or whatever they're looking for. And then send me home with a program and then continue to see me online. But now they have a baseline for how my body works. And I thought, well, here's a person who was very good explaining what I felt was going on with me and how he healed himself, which is always a good sign when they heal themselves. He looked much younger than me, but I thought, well, I'm gonna have to ask when I see him, like, what about when you're my age? <laughs> and so um, I went. I learned a lot about my body that I didn't know. Many of the muscles they wanted me to identify, I had trouble at first identifying them. So they weren't turned on. And the good news is, is the connection between your brain and your muscle activates really quickly. So within the same session, I would actually turn on muscles and create awareness that I never had. And they said to me that most people, most of us don't have our lats turned on because of 
the lifestyles we lead. Sitting in cars and sitting at desks and just this lack of awareness of even that they're not turned on for me. And so now having that awareness when I do the movements with them, I actually can think about how to turn these areas on that weren't on. And I feel them turn on at this point. You know, in my lordosis, the combination of that was giving me like a lot of tightness in my back when I was doing things like mild hiking. And I couldn't really identify this. And it was this lack of connection between my, my abs and my glutes and what's, what's overworking and what's not firing. And so things are getting overloaded and other things aren't carrying any weight at all. And me not having awareness of that. Being relatively fit, I thought I had a lot of awareness. I didn't see my own blind spots. I didn't have any idea that they were there. If you don't know, you can't turn them on. And they, so they taught me these kinds of things which are gonna serve me going forward and correct any problems that I have. So Upright Health, to me, brought in like, you know, come to us and we will fix you. And it doesn't matter what it is and we're gonna break it down and we're gonna show you what it is. And they, ha they showed no fear or no expectation. And I haven't been let down. I feel like they taught me about my own body because I am the lead. I understand that I am the lead on my body and they would continuously, Vincent would continuously ask me, how do you feel, what do you feel? What's going on in your body right now? And I would tell him different things and he could modify the next thing to compensate for what was happening in my body that he couldn't see. And I would advise not to try to be the perfect student, be the honest student. Um, because if you leave something out that they cannot address it. So if you're experiencing pain, if you're athletic or just mildly athletic, it doesn't matter. If you're experiencing any sort of pain, I want you to really understand that just your body telling you something. Something is out of balance and it can be balanced. And so don't wait until, you know, you are, you know, the point where you're non-active and you have to ice and rest and, you know, do all that protocol. Just go find somebody that is willing to give you the time, it's worth the money, and teach you about your body so you're out of pain. The longer you wait, the longer it's gonna to take to get out of that pain. So pain is your friend, and that's what I would really think about it. And it will, and when you learn, you will learn for yourself how to keep yourself out of pain, and you will not have to be um, tethered to an expert forever. You become your own expert. So that would be my advice, is if you've got some pain, um, all of you out there, all you athletes and um, weekend warriors is don't live with the pain. Find someone to help you and get it right. And so you could enjoy what you like to do. Pain sucks, life shouldn't.